Well, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to introduce you to On Track. Um, well, first of all, mm, I don't know if this is working. Oh, yeah, no, it's working. Well, hello, I'm uh, Inigo Juantegui. I'm CEO and founder at uh, On Track. Um, basically, what we're doing is revolutionizing the uh, road freight transport. What we have here, basically, it's uh, what we do. It's not as sexy as the, the previous um, guys that were here on the stage that were moving people. We move pallets, we make goods, and we do it in a regional basis. So basically, what we do is uh, local transportation. That's why you see a van, not these fancy big trucks. And uh, what we do today and why we, uh, this market we think needs to be revolutionizing, it's because the way uh, it works today, it's very manual. So if you think about the Coke that, or the Coca-Cola that reaches your supermarket or the restaurant uh, in which you take it, you will see that the way it works, it's that they have a warehouse outside the city and they have to transport that. In order to transport that, the Coca-Cola guy in the warehouse, it's phone calling and using a lot of paperwork in order to match the supply and the demand. So what they need with the truck. On the trucker side, they basically are owner operators. What owner operator means, it's one truck, one guy. That means that they have very low visibility on the shipments that are around them. So they have to pretty much accept everything that gets into their phone. That leads to 40% of empty kilometers in all the rides that they do. So we were asking ourselves, how can we solve this issue? Well, the obvious question, the obvious answer is through technology. So on the client side, the companies, the Coca-Colas of the world, what we call the shippers, what we have is a platform so that they can put the shipments and get instant quoting. And we connect them through an app with our trackers. So it takes very simple steps. From the client side, what they do is they can fill the form and get instant quote, or they can directly, um, through an API, they can connect through our um, system and give us the shipments directly. Once the shipments are there, what we do is we route them. So what's key about OnTrack is that we route in order to reduce the empty kilometers. Once the routes are done, we send it to the carriers, and they can accept them. Once they accept the shipments, they start, they start driving, and they do the shipment. They reach the destination. And then uh, from our uh, customer service, that we have 24-7 uh, customer service, what we do is we track that shipment. We know exactly where the truck is. We know exactly what uh, situation it is. If it's in drop-off, if it's in, uh, on the way to the pickup, if it's already ended. And we show that to our clients, so we give full transparency about the process. And last, what we do is we uh, manage the documentation. This is one key part for our clients. They need to have their documents real time so that they know that the, the, the goods have been delivered, because that's the way they get paid. Without this document, they don't get paid by their clients. So we manage that through our app. And on the carrier side, what we do is we, gu we guarantee the payment. And that's also very important in order to engage the carriers, because they usually get paid uh, with 60, 90 days on delay, but they have to pay the, for the gasoline every day, right? So on track, on a nutshell, we've done so far one, 165 uh, shipments. We are above 160 employees, and we receive already 37 million in funding. In terms of what we've done in these three years that we've been doing business, we have already achieved 1 billion in value goods transported by our trackers. Our trackers have done above 12 million kilometers. And we have transported above 2 million pallets. Our clients are um, all over the value chain. So from producers and distribution companies like PNG or Aushan to uh, logistic operators and freight forwarders like DHL or DB Schenker. But um, we have learned a lot along the way. So in these three years, we move from uh, one scope to the other. So right now, we have a very clear view of moving pallets, but that was not the way we started this business. 
At the beginning, we started uh, trying some parcel shipping. We just realized that that's not a really good business. There's very low margins. There's no way you can uh, make uh, good money. And by the way, we as clients are a bit shit. So 30% of the times that um, parcel shipper arrives to our home, we are not there. So they have to come back. Not a great business. Also, we tried some SMEs, B2B. Um, well, I think this explains by itself, but it's not, it's not also the right market to be in. And last, we tried some, some refrigeration. Um, what we realized quite fast with the refrigeration um, goods is that it's different supply. And all on track is about, it's about network effects. Everything that we do is basically um, optimizing the routes of our, of our trucks. If we need different trucks for different shipments, then won't, we won't be able to optimize it. We won't be able to generate those network effects. So we realized that what we have to do is focus on palletized goods and using technology to optimize the routes. And why do we think we do it better than the incumbents? And why do we think we can add value? It's basically by routing and grouping. So just a very easy example on a daily route of a truck. We'll get in, into a warehouse, we'll do a pickup, we'll go to the next warehouse, do a second pickup, then go to a third one, drop off, and so on. What we do is we link shipments among them in order to reduce the empty kilometers so that these guys can do more shipments every day. By doing this, what we do is we reduce from 40% of empty kilometers to 20% empty kilometers. That means that our trucks can do more shipments every day than the average. That also means that these guys can, le can earn more money, but we can pay them less per shipment, which means also that we can pay less, uh, sorry, charge less our clients per shipment, but still have a very good margin for ourselves. So everybody wins, but mostly, the environment wins, because what we do reduces the amount of empty kilometers, which means that we reduce the CO2 emissions and we reduce the congestion. And also, if you take, this is a massive business. So if we are able to reduce 1% of the empty kilometers in Europe, the impact for the companies, it's 1.2 billion in savings. So it's, it's a massive impact with a very um, small effort. So, this is a video of the shipments that, we, that we've done so far. So we started in Madrid, we opened Catalonia quite fast, we started linking the two of them. Then uh, those cities started to gain liquidity fast, and we decided to open the third one, Valencia, and then the fourth one, London. Those two cities are also ramping up extremely fast. We are covering all Spain, and we recently started to do shipments in Paris. But that's what we've done so far. Now, we realize that the, the, the segment that we're targeting, it's only 10% of the total short haul business. So we started, when I mean we realized it's four months ago, we started to work with our biggest clients in order to understand how we can help them with the 90% of achievements that we were not being able to achieve. And then we realized what the problems are. This 90% of the shipments is what they call collection and distribution. So if you think about the pallets that move around the, the world, DHL, for example, all the pallets will come to, uh, from all over the world to Berlin in a warehouse, and what they do for the last mile is distribute from that warehouse all over the city. The thing is that the way they do it, these uh, warehouses, is that they have a fixed fleet. So they have always the same amount of trucks in front of the door and they use that same amount of trucks. And the way they, they use them is they do the deliveries in the morning and they do the pickups in the evening. So they have a lot of uh, deliveries. So they have a truck that will go the route, actually more or less like 100 trucks every day doing these routes. And then in the evenings, they will go for the pickups. What we realize is that this is suboptimal. This is suboptimal because mixing the pickups and deliveries would lead to better, um, better routes. So what we offer them, it's doing routes with all the shipments so that they can optimize the amount of empty kilometers. But still, this is not a big gain. But what you see here is like the perfect world in which pickups and deliveries are more or less even. But the truth is that this is not a perfect world. 
So in an import or a, um, in an import hub like Berlin, you have a lot of more goods coming in than coming out. Or if you think about Stuttgart, Stuttgart has a lot of export rather than import. So this is an example of export. You have a lot of, a lot of um, pickup points, but very few delivery points. But still, they have the same amount of trucks. So what we do, what we offer to them, it's a fixed, uh, a flexible fleet that will do all the shipments at the same time, and also adapt those, those uh, that fleet for the needs because they don't need, they don't need the same number of trucks every day of every week. So it's pretty much what delivery offers to restaurants. The restaurants have seven motorbikes always there, but they don't use them all the time. So what delivery says is get rid of all the motorbikes, and I will use my motorbikes moving all around the city, and I will make you a better price. It will be optimal. That is what is leading us to grow exponentially lately. So um, I know I'm conscious on time, sorry. Um, so last slide. This is our expansion plans. We are about to uh, expand uh, in uh, the Netherlands, Germany, and Poland, because they're the biggest hubs. And uh, we have a very exciting future in front of us. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, I'm going to be here all day, so if you want to contact me, I at ontrack.com, that's my email. And uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs>